I'm a vegetarian. No problem. I make lamb. Are you ready for yes, this? Yes, I am. I do it with a Dutch oven. Leonardo does it with a Testo, which is a cast iron oven. It's a portable oven, essentially, that they take out into the fields. And the shepherds um, use this to feed themselves. And we're going to make a lamb and tomato. <laughs> Lamb and tomato. Lamb and potato dish in here. So this is a lamb shoulder mm -hmm. that we have cut up. They would do this in the field. I know, you vegetarians, you can just turn this off. I'm gonna get the meat sweats today. So anyway, we've cut that up. We're gonna put it into this cast. Oh my God, this thing weighs a ton. I'm like, oh, this is like really, how do you run up and down the stairs with that? I'm strong. You're strong like bull, they used to say. So, strong like lamb. So it's a very simple dish. It seems very simple, but it is really incredibly delicious. We do this in our outside oven, our forno. If you have one, you can certainly do it. I would not suggest doing it on the grill, um, but if you do have a pizza oven, it's great to do in a pizza oven. Otherwise, Use your Dutch oven. You don't need one of these things that weighs like, how do they carry this out into the field? I mean, this is super heavy and I'm not even faking it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm have to our um, producer come over and lift it, come on. Just to prove that I'm not saying this is heavy and it's not heavy. This is what, yes, this is what Leo runs up and down with. It's hefty. <laughs> It's really hefty, right? Yeah, it's heavy. It's got some heft to it. If you watched our Testaroli YouTube video, this is what they use. You can really only buy these in Ponte Romoli. And they're part of Slow Food Lunigiana, which is really cool. You will not see something like this anywhere else in Italy. It's really of this region, of this place, literally of this. Just in two stores in Ponte Romoli. Yeah, two stores in Ponte Romoli. Yeah. That's it. We have had people take them home. On retreats so if you do want one you can buy one they are hef hefty so bring an extra piece of luggage <laughs> okay carry on so tell here, us what we got we have uh, dried um, rosemary dried sage dried um, majorana and thyme some salts again the recipe will be below so if you're following along with your dutch oven some, it's a tablespoon of uh, oh now he knows <laughs> And we're doing a little massage, massage, a, massage a, a little massage of the meat, meat massage. It's a meat heavy episode. But imagine you're like out in the fields and you're super hungry. This is a really, really yummy dish. The shepherds are shepherding and they make a fire and they throw this oven on there and they cook all sorts of things out there with the testo, right? Yeah. Directly on the fire. Directly on the fire. All right, so then we take potatoes, little baby potatoes. Fingerling two potatoes, two cups is what I think I say in the recipe. It can't be really a big potato unless you want to cut up a big potato so it's the size of a small potato. I don't suggest you do that because it's really nice with the skins on it. It really has a, gives it a nice sort of uh, crispy texture on the outside. Fresh sage gets tucked in there. Rosemary gets tucked in there. It already looks tasty. I hope your vegetarians have left the building. It is really heavy on herbs, for sure, because the only flavoring really comes from the herb and the delicious lamb that is truly exceptional in this region. All right, so now we've done olive oil, and then we're going to do wine. One cup of white wine. One cup wine. of white wine. And then we're going to, to put it in the forno, right? Okay. Going to the gym. Yeah, you're gonna go to the gym. <laughs> no big deal. No, no, no. Just firing all, all muscles and all parts of body. Use your core, Leo. Okay, so um, the testo is in the oven. How many degrees do you think our oven is? Yeah. 
I like he sticks his hand in there. <laughs> That's too much, 250, but we put some wood when he we put... says Celsius. <laughs> so just a little over 500. If you don't have like a pizza oven or a testo, the recipe calls for a Dutch oven and a con you know conventional oven, and um, it goes a little faster in our oven. It just cooks differently because the metal conducts heat differently. So follow the recipe with your Dutch oven. And if you do have an oven like this, I suggest that a really big um, cast iron skillet will work. You know, just make sure you look at the measures that it will fit into your cast iron skillet. A lot of you have those. And then you can cover it with aluminum foil and that's fine and it'll, it'll cook just fine. If you notice he hasn't put it all the way into the oven, so always uh, err on the side of pulling it out a little bit. It's less hot um, towards the door than it is in the back. So in other words, we're not doing pizza. We're doing a lower fire. How long do we do it? Like 30 for minutes in here? Days. Yeah, I mean, you do it like uh, probably for about, probably under an hour, around an hour. I don't know what the recipe says. In here, you probably do it for 30 minutes, but we check it at 20. After 20 minutes, we check, test, we turn on the other side. <laughs> oh boy, don't touch that, that's hot. <laughs> We're back, we've pulled our testo out of the forno. Oh my god, that looks gorgeous. Sizzly, yumminess, I don't even know what else to say, I'm just in awe. Alleluia! It's cooked, it's moist, it's delicious, gorgeousness. Oh God, this looks good, doesn't it? In Buono. It's got the juices, it's got the wine, it's got the herbaceousness. It's delicious. We're gonna try it. It's very tender, right? I mean, it just like slides off the bone. Look at how nice that is. Wowza, right? And then the potatoes are perfectly cooked. We're just going to stand here for two minutes blowing on our potatoes. Oh, you put it in your mouth already? Is it really hot? No. 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 Fire. Mmm. How good is that? It's good. The weird thing about this recipe, for me, is that there's no, like, garlic or onion in it. But you really get the taste of you know, in full, the potatoes. I mean, granted, the products here are so good, you know, so just make sure you get the best cut of meat, the most beautiful potatoes. This is my dinner. I'm really hungry, actually. I mean, after cooking all day and tasting all this food now, all of a sudden I'm like super hungry. Maybe a glass of wine with it. Can we start drinking it? Why not? Oh, I'm so. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. We're just gonna eat this, so. Come back later, watch some other videos. We'll still be eating this. And this is a good time to say like and subscribe to our lamb channel. <laughs> All right, we're done. You can go, bye bye. Wow, this is good, holy. Holy, yeah, I'm eating, the, I'm eating this whole thing though.